Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Tarot of Nella. In today's video, this is going to be a review and an unboxing video on this new release. So this deck has this amazing box. So this is called the Necronomicon Tarot deck. Very hard to pronounce, um, but the box looks absolutely amazing with this type of like keyhole. And this is by um, the publisher Inside Editions. So it says, let the Necron Omicron guide you with this epic tarot deck and accompanying book filled with stunning original artwork inspired by the dark fantastical visions of H.P. Lovecraft. So I love the fact already it says a fully illustrated 78 card deck. So I'm all about, you know, those decks where they're fully illustrated. Okay, so let's take a look at the guidebook first. So it looks very like witchy, very witchy. Very, very cool. So this was written by Christopher March, illustrated by James Boozma. So I love the kind of old style antique looking paper that um, they've used for this. So the oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear and the oldest and strongest kind of fear is the fear of the unknown. I love that so so much so so much that is such a good quote so we have the introduction here to the deck now I know that this um, tarot deck is a unique way to experience the popular lore of Lovecraft with science fiction fantasy and horror stories so we have do have quite a long introduction there we oh this is nice so we have understanding your tarot deck we have the work of H.P. Lovecraft. All the quotes in the text are from the works of H.P. Lovecraft, which are freely available online. So to understand the complexity and depth of these images, you may want to read the relevant stories. So we have the Major Arcana. We have the Upright, the Reversed and the Meaning. So what I'll do, I'll pull a card at the end and we will go straight into the booklet. Okay. Okay, so then we have the tarot readings. We've got caring for your deck, um, preparing to read tarot, and we have spreads. So what do I fear? Exploring fears. How do I handle this? The hero's journey. We have about the author and about the illustrator. So you know me, I'm so excited to just get straight into the deck. So this is what the backs look like. They are quite a vibrant, almost neon, but it's kind of like a minty, beautiful aqua kind of green here with black borders. So this is the side, so we don't have any gilding. So the cardstock is quite thick, and to be honest, Insight Editions do create really good quality cards in terms of their thickness. So we're going to see how they shuffle later on. So I'm going to zoom in. So we have the full. Love the colours, the dark with the green. He's so going to trip over the edge. <laughs> so I think the theme could be quite kind of green and black. So far we have that kind of dark colour coordination. And I love my dark spooky deck. So I'm so excited for this one. Oh, so the magician is manipulation. That is very interesting. Perhaps he's trying to manipulate manifestation. We have imagination, so this is going to be the High Priestess. So they have changed the words. So if you know your major arcanas, um, that may not be 
it may not be the best for beginners perhaps if you don't know the major arcana like in terms of numbers we have the empress which is growth so that is like the perfect keyword for this and this is beautiful she's literally like growing inside this tree and look at her eyes so glowy and hollow we have the emperor so this is um authority oh i love this this is so spooky and dark he's literally biting and ripping out his chest <laughs> very graphic but it kind of makes sense you know he's the one in control we have the hierophant which is knowledge i mean he he does look like he has a lot of knowledge look at the shape of his head he look, almost looks like um he could be an alien i love how spooky this one is Oh, as I said, aliens. Look, we have aliens for the lovers. How interested in that to have aliens for the lovers? This is different. I mean, I'd love, I, I do want to know what the book says about this one. Next, we have the chariot. Okay, so the chariot we have violence. I suppose you could also use these as a type of oracle as well. With the keywords. So we have this kind of monster. We have strength. Which is desire. That does look quite quite intense and passionate so I can see that that means desire we have the hermit which is solitude oh I like this one very creepy just look at his, his dark hollow eyes and you still have the light here. Then we have the wheel. This is the wheel of fortune. This, a few of them follow the type of rider weight system and others are um, not so much. So this is change. So that's a good keyword for the, the wheel. Oh, look at this, justice. How beautiful is this card this is actually my favorite like so far out of the the deck this is my favorite there is something about this it almost looks 3d like a portal guilt truth i think that is such a good one actually for justice we have the hanged man which is sacrifice so as you can see, we we always have this um, Egyptian Egyptian pyramid symbol here. I like it how, as below, it's kind of like we have this kind of light to dark energy. We have the death card, which just says death. So I like the fact they haven't changed that. I love the moon in the background. I have to say the artwork is very, very nice. I really do. I really do like it. We have temperance. So lovely purple colours here. With a magnifying glass. Well, this person has a knife. It looks like they've kind of drawn cut into this here. Contamination. Oh, so something's being contaminated. Then we have the devil, which is cor uh, corruption. 
This is an interesting one for the devil. They both have devilish red eyes. Almost like she's being forced to read this book or something, or to read a spell, I don't know. <laughs> um, we have the Tower. Sins of the Ancestors. This is another really, really cool one. I love a good tower, and this is such a spooky house. And we have like the lightning. Another favourite, actually. We have the star, which is science. He's like the mad scientist. Creating all these experiments. The moon, oh, look at this one. Again, I'm gonna say this is probably another, another favorite of the deck. Look at the faces in the water. That, that makes me feel a certain way and that's what I love about decks. That's quite spooky, this is madness. Wow, that is a beautiful moon card. I actually can't stop looking at it. The sun, shame and decay. Oh, this is very spooky. Like, he's eaten some blood, I think. It's, it's almost like a, they're all attached, or... I mean, this is just strange, right? <laughs> very cool. I really do like it. Then we have Judgment. So Judgment is Chaos. Okay, so this looks a bit chaotic. It's like we have this black hole in the center. Then we have the world. So it's like we have all these like eyes, possibly eyes. This is the void. Okay, so that's the Major Arcanas. Then we're moving on to the Minor Arcana. Okay, so I had to check what suits were what. It doesn't actually say in the guidebook. So I'm just going to go with a guess here. I think the books is swords. Okay, ju judging by the meanings that they've put behind in the book. So we had the Kin of Books. We have the Queen of Books. She's got like the paddle up, but she's also got the key. We have the Knight of Books. Oh, I like how you can see this kind of ghostly face in the background. And then we have the Page of Books. We have the Ace of Books. This is a really nice pretty one. With the padlock and the chain, I do really like that. We have the Two of Books. Okay, so... A little bit pippish. We have the Three of Books. I do like this is like a burn book this is like see how they, they're, they're being burnt so this is like the three of swords basically we have the four of books the five of books I like how this one has the lockets it's kind of flying gives you intuition something to play with the six of books, oh, so we have this kind of path, this steps that lead out of the book. That's pretty cool. The seven of books, so we have this mysterious person, maybe you've taken a book, they're stealing it. 
which is very Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Books. We have the Blindfold, like the Right Away. We have the Nine of Books. Okay, this is quite cool. As you see, he's like leading to some type of enlightenment, but that's actually all books. So he's kind of going to go into the book. We have the Ten of Books. Looks like a page of history. The castle. Okay, so torches. I'm guessing that torches is wands because we have a, a lot of fire here as well. So, kin of torches. Queen of torches. We have the knight of torches. The page of torches. We have the Ace of Torches, Two of Torches, makes me think of the Mummy film. We have the Three of Torches, the Four of Torches. The light is shooting upwards. The five of torches. Six of torches. We have the seven. I feel like some have like more going on than others. Some certain cards. But I suppose this seven of, of torches is quite similar to the right away. The eight of torches. Ooh, what is this? I'm not quite sure what this is. <laughs> we have the nine of torches. We have the Ten of Torches. This is a cool one. Look at the her face, face, her facial expression. And the lantern smashed. Just carrying a lot. Okay, so the Kin of Beakers, I think, is the Cups. So we have the Queen of Beakers. The Knight of Beakers. What's he doing with that key? The Page of Beakers. Then we have the Ace of Beakers. Lovely. I love the green and the black. So we have the Two. Oh, actually, I really like this for the Two of Cups because this is about chemistry. You know, and what's going to happen when you mix certain things together? How are they going to react? So I actually really do like this one. So we have the three, three of cups, it's like they cheers him, we have the four of beakers, I'm not usually a fan of when they change the words, normally because I have to try and remember them, but I think if you use a deck a lot you will get used to the change of the suits. We have five of cups. 
it's like she's got pink blood all this glass this looks painful you have the six of beakers this is nice this is a bit of like you know an old memory in this type of portal you have the seven of beakers Oh, I like the castle, like the medieval castle. He's just watching, watching it. We have the eight of beakers. It looks a bit deserted. Someone's just left their work in a mess. <laughs> we have the nine of beakers. The ten of beakers. It's interesting. The fact we only have like two people for the ten. It would be nice if they had some type of rainbow maybe coming out with the potion. Would have been nice. We have now we have pentacles, so the pentacles is pentacles <laughs> so this is not going to be a hard one to remember queen of pentacles the knight of pentacles it's like star symbol here We have the Page of Pentacles. Look at those green eyes. Oh, I like this one. This is like a gem. Look how beautiful this is. This is almost like a, like a garnet or a, a Baltic amber. It actually reminds me of my little... My little um, amber crystal that I got yesterday it has the same similar type of patterns. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Just reminded me of that. <laughs> so we have the two of pentacles. I love this one. Look how cool this is. So he has like, this person has the key inside their mind, but they're like, which way do they go? It's like they have a choice or they have two things in their mind. This, this again is a favourite, favourite card. Those two are favourites. <laughs> we have the Three of Pentacles. With this ancient map. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is nice. He's sitting by the fire, even though he's alone. We have the Six of Pentacles. Oh, we have this green hand. This type of talisman pendant. Look what's happened to their skin. Like, is their skin changing as they're touching this green hand? Very cool. The Seven of Pentacles. She's definitely making something. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. What's behind his shoulder? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, look at the white rose growing here. The one white rose. 
And then we have the Ten of Pentacles with the dark spooky house. Which is opening up here. Love it. So now we're going to do a shuffle test and a card pull. Okay, so they do shuffle nicely. A little bit stiff, but I think when you get a new deck, you just got to break it in. <laughs> Now, I love my jumping cards, so let's see if we can get a collective message. Okay, so they are quite thick, so it's going to be hard to get that one jumping card. So, we have the Kin of Pentacles, we have Corruption and the Sins of the Ancestors. So let's just take a look into the book. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is a powerful leader or mage, can help you shed light on your own fears and possibly offer solutions or influence the outcome. And if it's reversed, you have the inner resources and core strength to overcome anything, you may be able to find your own wizard. So let's take a look at corruption. The devil, this has a bit more information on this one. So we have... I had seen him once or twice in my youth as he came to Arkham to consult forbidden tomes at the college library and had hated his wolfish saturnine face with its tangle of iron grey beard. She was dark, smallish and very good looking except for over protumbrant eyes but something in her expression alienated extremely sensitive people. Okay, so that's the kind of story behind the card. We have the descriptions of Ephraim and um, SNF Wait. Probably pronouncing this all wrong. <laughs> Respectively, from the thing on the doorstep. A story in which Ephraim Wait possesses the body of his daughter, SNF. In the thing on the doorstep, Ephraim Wait possesses the body of his own daughter, treating her as a skin to contain his own being oh that sounds very dark so we have upright the fear is of corruption depravity or being overtaken by another who or what in your environment is not what they seem are you corrupt yourself are you attracted to the wrong kind of people the fear may be of obsession and we have the reverse will you do anything to stay free what are you willing to give up Wow, I feel like the book is actually going to be so interesting for all these like little stories. So we have the Tower card. So this is the Sins of the Ancestors. The Martens mansion in the Lurking Fear was built on generations of corruption and inbreeding. Beneath the house, hordes of deformed creatures bred and multiply hidden from the sunlight. Wow. <laughs> Upright, the fear is of bad blood, an evil inheritance, bad family karma, an inevitable sl slide into the same thorough as your ancestors. Are you frightened of your inheritance? Do you on some level believe that you have a corrupt inheritance? Or do you likely come from the bad blood? Does your family have a dark history? Interesting enough, that sounds like a reversed meaning, but it's upright. And we have reversed fear of passing on your own corruption bad dna family trauma so i'm actually really excited to read the book to be honest it, it makes me want to read like a um, spook mini spooky stories so i'm actually really looking forward to reading the book now um after those little stories but yeah this is the cards that i've pulled so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing review i really did enjoy going through this deck and this is going to be available for pre-order. Um, this is going to be released from September the 5th, uh, 2023. So you can purchase it on Amazon. I will leave the links down below in the description bar. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'm sending you so much love and light.